Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. I want to do this video for you today on torque. What is torque and how do you get it? Now, torque is something that you see in elite players. You see it in the MLB. You see it in the most elite players in softball. And one thing that I do when I'm working with students, once I get the setup correctly, the gather and everything else, and once the weight transfer starts, I, I really try to focus a lot on how to get resistance, how to get great torque in your swing. Having great torque in a swing is going to allow you to have a great hand path. So let's get started here. Now we have it here in front of you Mia Davison. Now in this particular swing right here, she happened to hit three home runs in one game. She plays for Mississippi State Softball. Just a tremendous swing. Now in order for you to hit three home runs at this level in one game, you have to have pretty good mechanics. You have to have pretty sound swing. So I'm going to use her as a, as a very good model of how to get torque and how to get resistance. Now you can see here right now she's almost at the apex of the gather. So right now she's about the apex of the gather. Now watch what's going on right here with her back elbow. You can see here as she's transferring her weight, getting into toe touch, there's a process going on right here. See what's going on with her back elbow? And if you watch my videos, I talk about this all the time. Let the back elbow get up back and behind you up back and behind you now this right here the, this movement she's doing right here it's a technique okay and it's a process to learn to do this by that I mean this many players most players if not all players that I've ever worked with they don't really have a lot of resistance or torque when I first start working with them and what I try to do is give them the technique or the method in which they can obtain this kind of technique so they can get tremendous torque and what I'm trying to get out of my students when I'm working with them a separation and by that I mean this if you have good resistance good torque again just pay attention to what's going on with her back elbow okay you can just see here that her back elbow is just really doing a great job of working up back and behind her up back and behind her now again like I was saying what I want to do with and get with for my students is great separation so right here she's at toe touch okay and if you watch my videos I'm always talking about that shoulder to shoulder to elbow look okay shoulder shoulder to elbow if I was to draw a straight line from the top of her back elbow her back shoulder her front shoulder and it, you would see it would be a straight line and that straight line would be pointing to the second basement area you can see here where her eyes are pointing in this direction where her shoulders are pointing in the direction of the second baseman. Now that this is separation, this is torque. This is what you want in your swing. Now what I see when I'm working with students when I first when they first come to me at this stage of the swing, it's almost like a look like and I'll just go ahead and kind of give you an idea because this is very common what I see. It's pretty much where the front shoulder would be here, the back shoulder would be here, and the back elbow would be down here. Okay? This is what I see at Toe at toe touch many times okay and that right there is something that you don't want to see in your swing because if you have that that means you definitely need to work on this particular move right here where you let that back elbow work up back and behind you up back and behind you now watch what's going on here on here right here with her swing okay as she's letting the back elbow work up back and behind her up back and behind her watch what's going on now she's at toe touch right here but watch what's going on right here as she gets into heel plant you're going to see that her back elbow is going to start slotting and the reason that happens is because the rotation of the lower body but one thing you will see here at heel plant right here she's at heel plant her back elbow has slotted but you will see this in elite players where the back shoulder is still higher than the front one and the shoulders will still be pointing to the area of the second baseman okay this is what you see with the most elite players again you can see where her eyes are looking in this direction and her shoulders are still closed now in order for you to do this a great drill for you to do and I tell my students to do this all the time I tell them just get to toe touch okay and, and just get yourself in this position here where you look in the mirror and you have that shoulder to shoulder to elbow look okay where you have your front shoulder okay lower than your back one and you have your back elbow top of your back elbow in line with your shoulders okay once you have that right there and you have your hands they're right now at the stage of the swing they should be pretty much right in front of your right in front of right in front of your back foot okay now that right there is what you see in the most elite players in the game whether it be baseball or softball now from there what I would recommend for you to do is just leave your bat right there okay watch what's going on right here just leave your bat right there and as you're getting into heel plant we'll do this in front of a mirror I highly recommend that so you can make sure you're doing it correctly as you're getting into heel plant watch what's going on with her bat her bat pretty much stays right there 
and you can see the angle where that really hasn't changed. Now, when I have students do this for the first time and they get to toe touch, okay, I tell them, get to this, this particular stage of the swing right now. Now, get to heel plant, right? What's going on with their bat, their bat is literally now pointing almost in this direction like this, okay, and it's cutting across their body with their hands literally dropping way down here okay I see that happen all the time now you can see it's very obvious that her hands right now are way up here okay because of the resistance and the torque and the separation she's getting but again the reason the hands drop and the reason the hands do not stay back is because there's no pullback so what's going on right here just for you uh, players out there who have never experienced this kind of move before what you're actually feeling as you're getting into your heel plant what you're actually feeling is this your lower body is starting to rotate your hips, your thigh, your knee is all rotating while your upper body is still working up, back, and behind you, up, back, and behind you. So what you have going on here is you have this working on a clockwise manner, the pullback while the lower body is rotating on a counterclockwise. That is how you get this tremendous, tremendous separation. Now watch right here what's going on right here. As we go here with her swing right here, watch this move right here. You can just see how her hips are moving. Okay, just pay attention to her shoulders, not her back elbow. You can see that her shoulders are still pointing in the same direction, but watch how much her hips have rotated. Now, at this stage of the swing right now, watch what's going on right here. Her shoulders right now, even at this stage of the swing right here, you can see that they're still, the back shoulder is still higher than the front one, still pointing to the second basement, but watch what's going on with her lower body. Her lower body is pointing pretty much in this direction now. So this is tremendous torque, tremendous separation, okay? So this drill right here, Again, I would highly recommend for you out there who do not have this kind of a move or this kind of technique in your swing, again, just get to toe touch and then just let the back elbow work up, back and behind you, up, back and behind you. Now, again, I do online video analysis and there's much more to a swing than this. And again, I always tell my students, your, your great swing starts with a great setup. And if you don't have a great setup and you don't have a great gather and you don't have great sequence to your swing, you're not going to ever be able to get to this particular stage of the swing like this you just won't trust me on that and one thing I highly recommend for you to do is just either find a good coach in your area I'm willing to work with you online video analysis I also have a video on my website that I talk about all this you get all these bonus videos and I talk about this and extension I talk about how to get to an elite extension like this keeping the barrel below the hands how to keep your extension going this again is a beautiful swing right here and I teach what this young lady does and I want all you out there to achieve an elite level swing I hope you like the video give me a like